It seemed like a normal day. It seemed like a normal night. Until I heard my bed say, I'm gonna take a bite. And then my bed ate me. My bed ate me. Filleted, pureed, straight, masticate me. My bed. Mattresses like tongs. I was lost in a river of sheets. I could barely catch my breath. I said, What are you doing to me? They said, We're well, eating you to death. And then my bed ate me, my bed ate me. Filet, pureed, strain, masticate. Well, so that was a uh, a request from YouTuber Eat Out Bubsy. Bubsy, I hope that is not as dirty as it sounds. Um, thanks for all your requests; those were great. Keep those same requests coming. As always, you know, if you just keep requesting certain things, I will. Uh, it, it's it, it's entirely possible that. Um, that I will do it. Um, some of the requests, uh, Mr. Jots wanted a song about eating bugs. Ninja Chibi wanted a song about maple syrup, which I might do someday, because that sounds up my alley. Beavenator wanted a song about, an up, sort of an updated song about Nintendo. Um, Spintown wanted a song about people that don't fulfill their Kickstarter rewards. Uh, Rich wanted a song about adult baby lover, about adult baby diaper lovers. Um, uh, and then Da Yolo Masta wanted a song about Noah's Ark, but instead of water, it's in space. Uh, these are great. Keep them coming. Um, one clarification is, you know, uh, the purpose of often, most of the time, the purpose of the, these, um, requests for me are not that I'm going to be doing um, uh, more produced songs per se. I still don't have much time in my day to do that um, these days except when they are um, commissions and, and, and I'm getting paid for it. Um, which is sad for me because, I, you know, I'm thinking a lot about the first, I don't know, first probably four or five, four or five years of song a day. I guess it's like basically song a day before I had a family. Um, and, and what that was like was very different. I just had a lot more time. Um, I had a lot less responsibilities and, uh, I could spend a lot more time just making songs and just sort of sitting down and, and, and really hammering something out production wise. And I just do not have the time for it. Basically all of my time, um, is spent on uh, on the one hand, you know, working on commissions that bring in money, and then on the other hand, working on song and not stuff, which is which is sort of my outlet for um, for more serious, more studious, serious work. Um, where where song where song a day used to be that, but um, um, you know, I had this thought that like. Uh, maybe when I get to 3,000, what I'll do is launch a Kickstarter or, or even launch a big, a big push on, um, Patreon. Uh, cause I would like to, I would like to get back to what it felt like to just be able to every day just sit down and spend, you know, a good four or five hours or more on, on song a day specifically. Um, but in order to do that, I would need... I would need like my expenses, you know, paid. I have a lot of responsibilities now as a family man to bring in, bring home the bacon. So, um, you know, it, it, it's sort of a tall order, but if I could, if I could 
do a Kickstarter for like 70 grand or 80 grand, which is about how much I make a year just on commissions and, and various various revenue streams that I have coming in, then I could devote, I could turn around and devote all of my time back to song a day. Anyway, that's sort of a dream. I don't know if, I don't know if that's what I'll actually do. Um, but the important thing is that I, I, I feel good about bringing back these, these, uh, these suggestions from you, these requests. And so keep those coming, but just know that probably most of the time what they mean is that I will do an acoustic song like I just did. Um, but it just helps me uh, have something to write about. I don't have to think about, think up an idea. So keep those coming and um, yes, let's do it. Putting down my guitar. Okay, everybody, see you tomorrow.